if you are moving to somewhere out of your area from another state or across the state to somewhere that you're not familiar with, the very first thing I would recommend you do, and I agree, I'm, I'm biased, is contact a real estate agent. Um, a real estate agent obviously is going to help answer questions about housing options based on your budget and what's important to you, if you need to commute, all of those things. But understand that a real estate agent can also provide you lots of other information. Let's say it's important to you to be near a hospital or a state park or something like that. An agent worth his or her salt is going to be able to answer questions about the locations that have what you're looking for. Um, things about how do you get a driver's license, um, as well as rules and regulations and the whole process of the purchase of a home. In some states, for example, there is something called attorney review. In Pennsylvania, we don't have that. So even if you've bought a home before, if you haven't done it in this locale, there may be a lot of information that is helpful for you to know that a real estate agent can provide you. Uh, that extends to things like the cost of closing fees and uh, understanding how taxes work in different places because the, be the more you know going in, the better you can hone your search. There are some other good ways to get an idea of what it's like to live in the area in addition to what your real estate agent can tell you. Um, obviously you can Google things, but what I have found, especially in our area, is that there are a lot of local Facebook groups that you can ask any kind of question in, like, uh, you know, my, we're moving to the area and I have a five-year-old who loves soccer. Are there any leagues? You'll get a million responses. It's also helpful to say where you're moving from and ask if anybody in that Facebook group has lived in your area because when you find someone who's coming from the same place you're coming from, it can really be helpful because that person may have encountered some of the same issues or obstacles or had the same questions that you did. It's also just nice to connect with a couple of people so that when you do get here, you have a, even a semblance of a, a friend or community and you can start becoming part of your neighborhood.